welcome back to my channel so today this is going to be a short video and in this video we are going to discuss about one of the most in important interview questions that is the difference between an implicit and an explicit measure so if you are new to power bi and if you have uh, started using measures in power bi you might have definitely uh, heard about creating measures using dax expressions but if you do not know the difference between an explicit and an implicit measure and when to use either of them, then this video is for you. So let's get started. So first, we will discuss about implicit measures. So when we connect to any data set, Power BI would identify based on the numerical values in the given data set. And therefore, it would allow us to perform the summarization on that particular column by default. Okay, so as you can see here in this particular data set, if you select this, uh, if you can notice that for the particular columns discount or profit and quantity, you see some uh, summarization icon next to that. So which means that since these uh, these columns hold some numerical values within that uh, respective column, Power BI was able to identify them as a measure. So if you would like to change the definition, you can just select this particular uh, measure and you can come to the summarization and change the definition from sum to average or min or max or either of them as per the uh, options that have been listed over here. So these are automatically created in Power BI without the need of writing any calculation. And therefore, these are being defined as an implicit measure. Okay, so what is meant by an explicit measure then? So explicit measures are something which would allow us to create by us. So we are the ones who would have to define this measure explicitly by creating a formula. So how do we create this? So it's like uh, you can just uh, say new measure. And then, uh, for example, if we try to create a measure based on the sales, I'll just say total average sales. And then I'll use the tax expression like average. of sales okay and then this calculation is being considered and you can see that this particular measure has been created over here so if you notice so if i just search for that you find this measure being created so this is explicit measure because the only difference is that in an explicit measure we uh, specify how this aggregation should perform. So we are explicitly specifying what sort of an aggregation should be applied in calculating this particular expression. So in this case, we are explicitly saying that we'd like to get the average sales for the overall data. And therefore, this definition is being provided by us. And this is being defined as an explicit measure. Whereas, if we go back to the other example, like, um, so if you see here, so if I select this particular RAM measure discount, this definition, as you can see here, Power BI has been identified like what sort of a definition should be used. So the default definition is sum, and you will be allowed to change the definition by choosing one of them from the listed options. But in case if you wish that this uh, measure or this particular column should not summarize, then you also been allowed to choose that value saying do not summarize this particular field. So that is a, a difference between an implicit and an explicit measure. So uh, when we try to talk about uh, the differences between both of them, apart from the definitions that we've uh, spoken till now, so there are a few uh, differences that we can talk about. So the first one is about how they have been created so that we've already looked at like uh, implicit measures are being created by Power BI uh, automatically when we connect to a data set. Whereas uh, an explicit measure is something that we created by using a calculation. So there we specify what sort of an aggregation or how that measure should be computed and therefore 
the result is being displayed accordingly. Now, the other difference is that uh, when uh, when we compare uh, between implicit and explicit measures, implicit measures are not reusable, wherein explicit measures can be reused uh, again and again. Uh, for example, if we have created a specific explicit measure using a calculation and a create a measure, then uh, if there is a need to reuse this particular measure within another calculation, then this possibility is allowed with an explicit measure okay so if i have to re-explain this the average sales that we have created earlier that particular measure can be inserted within another new measure that we might need to create so in this way the explicit measures are reusable but an implicit measure cannot be reused in that particular scenario and uh, coming to the performance part uh, there is not much difference when it compared between uh, an implicit and an explicit measure because uh, though uh, for an implicit measure we do not write any calculation and the uh, aggregation has been considered by default from Power BI uh, behind the scenes it does create the similar calculation in order to arrive at that particular metric value so however we write the calculation for an implicit uh, explicit measure to be created the same calculation would also be created uh, by power bi internally and therefore we are able to see that aggregated value being displayed when we try to use that on our visual so the other difference is that uh, uh, since uh, we have already spoken about the reusability the, this is one of the main difference between both of them so explicit measures are more uh, uh, like uh, they are uh, uh, frequently known for its uh, reusability and flexibility. So reusability, we've already spoken about it, where uh, if we'd like to reuse an existing explicit measure within another measure, then this would be allowed. And uh, the coming for the flexibility, um, you can always uh, specify what sort of a definition to be applied on that respective measure so by choosing uh, different functions that are available in power bi so for example uh, if i choose this particular uh, implicit measure th the only possible options that i can apply an aggregation is to choose from the list of options that have been provided from the drop down wherein for an explicit measure you get to uh, have all the possible options to use the different functions inside that particular calculation and therefore it is more flexible than compared to an implicit measure so these are some of the main differences when it is compared between both of them and uh, i hope uh, you have uh, understood this uh, topic today and if you do like this video please do uh, like share and subscribe and please do not forget to hit the bell icon for notifications. Thank you.